weapon. Our two riders on the dark horses are last armed. And we have here Sergeant Smurden of the Army Veterinary Corps, an experienced horseman. A very, very sprightly <laughs> horse, as you can see. He loves us. Look at that. The horse is almost as excitable as Sergeant Smurden is in the mess. But you can see the two of our troops here are armed with a nine-foot military lance. Now, this is a weapon that entered service in the British Army in 1816. And this was a result of how effective it was used against us by Napoleon, particularly by his famous Polish lancers. However, with our long years of service in India, there was a long tradition of lance-armed cavalry. And you can see that these are bamboo, although sometimes they were made of ash. Now, this is a professional cavalryman's weapon. And you can see that it takes great skill and dexterity to be able to move the lance around the horse and the horseman. And this is both offensive and defensive in its capability to both engage against uh, enemy cavalry and against enemy infantry. The one thing the lance is not good against is a rifle or machine gun. However, this was an effective fighting weapon and many of the cavalry in the British Army and even a greater proportion in the Indian Army were lance armed. Gentlemen, if you put up your lances. The second weapon of the cavalry, and this was ubiquitous to all, and you can see one of our riders here from the Scots, the famous Scots Grey, they are all armed with a 1908 pattern cavalry sabre. Now for many years there was debate among cavalrymen across the globe as to what the most effective way to use a sword from horseback was. In the Napoleonic Wars, the British maintained that the best way to use a sword from horseback was to cut the enemy and therefore it developed the 1796 light cavalry sabre, a thug's weapon, a meat cleaver of a weapon. I find it very, very vulgar myself. <laughs> However, the French maintained that the best way uh, was to point with the sabre. And you see our gentleman engaged in the point. And this was considered that you stick the enemy was the most effective way of engaging. And the debate raged for hundreds and hundreds of years. But by the time we reached the Great War, the consensus for pretty much any army in the Western Europe was that the use of point was most effective. Now you can see that the 1908 pattern cavalry sabre is a hell of a lot shorter than the lance. And not just our men were armed with lances, but the Germans had the famous Uhlans armed with lances up to 12 feet 